the five four thumb. I smell the bum of a stinky son. Good morning, my boy. Good morning. Did you just trump? <laughs> Stop it! Well, at least there's no questioning. He's my son. And speaking of sons, where the bloody hell is it? Because as far as I can tell, it is a cold and foggy morning. And you know what? I kind of like it. Now we've got Bev in the abode and it's time for some breakfast, but... We're saying nay today. Because I'm bouncing right out the house. And we're heading up the hills into the fog. Which is looking thick And we're in it You can't even see 30 foot up the road But luckily we survived the journey And arrived at Limefield Now before I go in I do want to announce I have not crashed a ladies lunch Even though it looks like I have I was invited to dinner So I'm dining And rather than going for something on the menu I'm going in the farm shop Grabbing some potato cakes And giving it to the kitchen Five seconds later I am the only person with food on the table <laughs> But time to get some butter on my tatties Well that was lovely. And I managed to finish before anyone else got their food. Whoops. I may have made a bad decision with my potato cakes. Because as much as I love them, I didn't quite pay attention to what was on the breakfast menu, which is what Lydia got in the form of a breakfast wrap. Because, oh my gosh, that is good. Now, I found myself in a bit of a predicament in there because I had my food so early, I kind of finished and have to go. Now, that's the car we came in, but these keys do not belong to it. In fact, these keys belong to... This bad boy. It's a bloody Vauxhall Adam. I'm having away with it. <laughs> so, hi-ho, sober. Oh, uh, where, where, do I, where do I put the keys? <laughs> I don't know where to put the keys. Flipping heck, this is old school. Wait, do I have to put the clutch down? Oh, yeah, I do. Well, winner, winner, chicken dinner, and we got an old school handbrake. Yeah. Okay, we can do this. I'm just wishing I had my glasses with me to be able to record because unfortunately I cannot. So, with the power of teleportation, I have arrived at Carlito's house. Hey, are you purposely flexing your arm for some reason then? You went like that, you went, oh, oh yeah, let me just. Oh, oh, well, look at that. What do you, what do you think of the new whip? Wait, film me, film me my whip. Now watch him whip. Oh, well, mate. Now my hands are... There you go. Now watch him whip. And watch him nae I call this the, 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 the Woman Wagon 5000, bro. Whoa! Oh, get all of the bitches in this. Why am I getting this? Give me that. I got in it. The PSI. Jesus Christ. Is the PSI on the tyre popped up saying, Warning, tyre pressure low. Nine. Can I have a child? Yes. Where is it? Oh, where? Oh! Come here! Oh, I'm saying... Well, this was supposed to be a flying visit. My godson! My godson! Godson, nephew. Oh, kid. Yeah! <laughs> Hi! He's scared, Stevie. Hi there! Nom, 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 nom. Hi! How are you? He's like, oh. can you let go of me and put me back in my house where I belong? <laughs> okay. You're free now. It's okay. No, I've got no baby with me, unfortunately. Hey, Joanne, you all right? Hi, Alice. Hi, uh, I'm going now. Hey, bye. Nice to see you. You too. Bye. Till next time. Bye. Did he waving yet? Not discovered that skill yet, has he? Frozen solid. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I always love to see the family first thing in the morning. Right, now, I wasn't kidding with what I was saying about this car, by the way. Um, the back tyre says it's got nine PSI in it. Oh. Every day he's driving past. Luckily, I am not blocking the road. And if we go around the back, how bad is it? Oh, it doesn't look flat at all. No. Nine? Oh. 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 That's got some giving it. Right, let's go and get this fixed. After all, it's the least I can do for letting me borrow the car. So we're going to check what the PSI levels are of the tyres by checking inside on the door here and on the tyres. We're going to boot up this bad boy. Oh, yeah. And we're actually going to see how much PSI is in this tyre. And I'm really hoping that a sensor is broken because surely it can't be that low. Oh, dear. Set it to the number we need it and press voila. The air shall pump in. Oh, it ran out of battery. <laughs> Cow! Just can't believe it. Right, we're going to put this on charge so we can later inflate that tyre. But in the meantime, we're going down Route Backer Gardens through Secret Passageway and we're hopefully about to reveal a fully empty pool. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's finally done. In the arms of an angel, the pool is gone. It was fun whilst it lasted. 
zooming down that zip line. I was going to say, now the hard part begins where we've got to like get rid of all this, but the, the actual emptying of the water was a pretty, it was a pretty grueling task in itself. Especially when you take into consideration, that's the water I effectively drank the other day. Yep. Well, at least we can start cracking on building the grinder together. And then we shall say side arrow to the cesspit. Now, for £125, you think you'd get a bit more than just this with the angle grinder. Like, you don't even get discs with it. I had to buy them separately, but you don't even get a battery. Luckily, I have one that is perfectly matching into this because it's part of the XR range from DeWalt, to which I have two that are fully charged and ready to go. But for 125 quid, you'd think they'd throw one in with it, but apparently not. So I'm going to attach this onto that by taking this off, sliding this on, and then reattaching it and then tightening it. Voila. And then we're going to attach the handle and we're ready to go. I should probably just change out my new coat. Hang on, there's no way this thing's charged already, has it? Hold up. Wait a minute. This should work. And with another push of the button, we're good! I am man, and I waste no time. Look how quickly this thing's pumping up the tyre! Absolutely brilliant, that is easily one of my best Costco purchases ever. And come on now, so is this monster in bulk. Don't mind if I do. Tyre pressure are an optimum standard. As long as she resets the pressures in the car, she should be golden. Oh, you're right in there, Kevin, my friend. Don't mind me, just off to cause some destruction. And oof! Look at that Defender, it looks like it belongs there. It's dirty, it's dusty. Very nice. Now come, 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 come. I need my gloves from inside the compartment, thank you. Gonna see if my safety mask is in the house next door. Simply ignore that door. And voila, oh, yeah, I forgot. I don't have a safety mask. I've got a motorbike helmet instead. Hmm, I'm sure I had a chainsaw mask. There's a chainsaw, but where's the mask? I found safety goggles from when we set off the fireworks, but I think I'll just wear the helmet. It's a much safer option. Gonna check it for spiders and we're sorted. Okay. Okay, time to set up the tripod and get a time lapse of me cutting this all out. I was just going to jump into it, but I think I should do the polite thing of taking this first. Oh, absolutely lovely. All right, away with the rakes, away with the hose pipes, and I'm just going to try and do this as simply as possible, and that is Stanley knife cut along the top edge like this. This is where it's all going to cave in on me. I don't even know if this is cutting it. Is it? Yeah, it is. Oh, very. Oh, wow. Look at that. Like butter. Okay, that's side number one. Dune. Disconnect all these edges now. Wow, that's like unzipping a zip. Wow. I'm going to go for a bit of a camera on the eyes view, just so you can experience the satisfaction. Switching in three, two, one. Wow. Would you look at that. Look at this. You ready? It's like butter. Oh, apart from when the pipe's bent into it and ruins it. Oh, that, that one was not satisfying at all. Right, let's try this one. Oh, oh, look at that. You ready? Let's try and stay deep in it, you ready? As soon as you get past that first bit, you're in. You ready? Oh, oh, that, oh, I thought I, I broke the stem enough then. Right, let's go a bit higher, away from the seam. Oh, it's like unzipping a zip. It's like, unzi it is like unzipping a zip, this. Look at this, it's all nearly done already. Flipping heck, I'm not even going to need the full 60 seconds off the recording. Crikey, Joe, done. I'm done. If I just pull that all off now, it'll sink in. Actually, I've had an idea. Before I pull, pull it off the side, I'm actually going to cut along the bottom so it comes off in like this separate piece and then the bottom piece rather than trying to roll it all together because that'll be a bit of a nightmare. So uh, let's go again. I'm just going to go like this, I think. Yeah, oh, yeah, like a zip all the way along the bottom. Oh, no, I broke the stand knife again. In like the same spot. I'm going to be blunting the hell out of this knife because it's just ground and dirt underneath this. Look at that, oh wow. Mate, that is crazy. Oh, this is where it's getting a bit a bit loosey-goosey now. Come on, keep her going. I just want it as one disconnected piece, thank you. There we go. Ah, this is not satisfying. Let me do it over here where it's, oh, this that. Do you know what I've realized? I should have cut the bottom first, then cut the top. I'm an idiot. This actually does cut so satisfyingly. Look, oh, that is so nice. Oh, that's like ASMR for your eyeballs. What's that called? ISMR, Ugh. what have I done to my knife? Do you know what it sounds like? It sounds like you're unzipping a tent. <laughs> and there we go. We are, once this cuts through, this should pull off. So let's cut this up in sections now from like, say the top here. Come on, let me through, let me through. Like that. And then should we do to like, say here? Come on, let me through again. This is a bit of a tougher piece. Go on, go on, go on, go on, go on, go on, go on. Ready? Look at that. Zip. And then I should just be able to pull that off, right? Oh, no, he says no. Maybe if I fold it round. 
Ta-da! And look at, whoa! Look at the behind the scenes of that. Oh, forgot about the straps. There we go. All right. And I can just pull this away in pieces. Yeah. Gonna go for an angle of doing it in here. I think we should take out this entire piece as one. So let's cut down from here. Go on, Stanley. Edmonton Stanley. Look at that. And then if this folds over, this can just pop out. Look at that. Oh, wait. Oh, no. Sausageroll.com. We've got to cut this internal bit here, All right? And then the supports at the back. Chop. And another one down here. Wait, I've got to chop this. Thank you. Another one here. Ah, there we go. And are we free? Yes, we are. And away she goes. Wow, look at this. I feel like I'm in like a, a whale carcass or something. Also known as your mama or <laughs> smoked. Yeah, that's what you get. I'm sick of this. I've noticed in the comments you guys just keep roasting me for everything and anything. My hair cut, my, my eyesight, just, just all sorts. You all need to, you just need to stop, all right? You're a bunch of bullies and I'm going to turn against you quicker than you can imagine. So shoot you to me. There we go. Okay. There we go, That's pretty much all the sides taken down. Ooh, this place looks creepy. 99% sure I uh, picked up my gloves for a reason, but you know, I'm just instead freehanding this and getting super muddy and wet. It's just horrible. All right, look at the inside of this shell. We've got, we've got carpet, we've got, we've got pallets and just everything holding it together. Oh my goodness me. What a, what a fun, like, bit of activity this was but i'm very excited to see the garden just come together as one now and make it look oh muchos gracias all right we just got this last bit at the end to take off just connect the sides thank you and we are free okay let's start slicing up the base and uh can i now lift up this oh no wait what? why is that stuck in oh it's stuck in all the dirt might have to just cut around this uh, but I'm thinking of just going, zoop, cutting it in half, and then quarters. Time up! It's crazy how much quicker you can disassemble things than put it together. But here's our entire pile of plastic, and now I think we just get our grind on. Wait, what? Right, it's time to do a test cut on the, the metal structure going around the pool. We're just going to give it a go, see how it cuts, and go from there. So tell me how the survey says. Oh, perfect. It's, it's, like, it's like butter. I'm going to go for a close up cut there just to show you how easily it cuts through this thing. Watch. Done. Done. All right. Time to cut the whole thing down. Can't fucking see anything. collapsed look at that the walls just collapsed in i was pulling out like the support legs and it just went Vroom! but we can actually still make a bit more progress because i've actually cut a lot of these supports where this wall is now going to fall in as well but i think maybe with a bit of a wiggle like this there you go nice nicely 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 look at that getting shit done and there we have it the final support leg the pool framework is gone at least now i've got a pretty cool fire pit in my garden bonfire anyone my next task is to actually organize all this stuff to carpet to rubbish to metal and then we can get it sent off to the tip pile numero one pile numero two three four and five out come the connectors Ooh, oh my gosh it's like pulling organs out of an alien not that I would know what that's like. And we are one step closer to regaining the garden. We have made good time in here. It might not look too dark now, but it's four o'clock. So it's about to go pitch black in like the next 20 minutes. I thought I'd dive back inside and rip out a bit more of the carpet, which is so unbelievably heavy because it's just so wet through. I managed to get a massive chunk out off the side here, but I think I could really do with this drying out a little bit because it's just a muddy wet bog and then pulling everything else out. And then we can work on leveling the land. But yeah, productive bloody day. Look at the state of my shoes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you can't say I'm not committed to the cause. And you know what? I am very excited to see 
this garden run flush through as one picturesque lawn. It's gonna be good. I think we'll get it ready in time for summer. He says, knowing absolutely nothing about lawns. I'm just offering out my services if anyone's in need of a, um, a pool remover. Holler at your boy for the year. Uh, pool. Fee, fi, fo, fum. I can smell the scent of a Scottish man. <laughs> I swear, this guy basically lives at my house. The weary traveler returns with way more batteries than he left with. And oh, one sec, let me just uh, activate my lamp. Oh yeah, look at all these batteries for days. It's a shame all of them last two freaking seconds. Oh my gosh, I can't even take footsteps in this garage. What is going on? I don't even know, but what a good way to come home. Ladies, maybe hot chocolate. <laughs> We've got nothing for you, because you're not family, right? Auntie but Auntie, Auntie B and Auntie <laughs> Harry. Oh, <laughs> yeah, don't worry, we won't look at you. We won't look at your jeans. Here you go. But aunties, we've got your little present. Oh, excited. Let's see if need some help. I could do it. Oh, she nailed it. In straight away. Oh. It's in and a box. Got gold ones in a pouch. Oh, they're so beautiful. Are you a little bracelet? Auntie and Alfie. Just to remember our little dude whilst you're away. I love these balls. We'll not be forgetting you, not like them. We'll not forget you, but thank you, thank you. <laughs> and I can guarantee by the time you get back, you'll be three times the size. Suits you, sir. That's really nice. Oh, look at that. You got matchy ones. Ah. Now, the family is awake. Everyone's up and about now. And I just want to take a second to shout out the outdoor boys. Even Lydia's happy with me putting this sort of video on in the background. I never really searched for them. It just got recommended one day. And whenever they're sleeping and I want to watch content in the background, this guy is just doing outdoor adventures, having the time of his life building real life campsites. And it's just amazing content to watch. Highly recommend. I'm going to put a screenshot of his YouTube channel here. What a bloke. Don't you worry, mate. We're going to have the best adventures ever. I promise. How does Alaska sound? Hi. How does an adventure down to your great aunt's house sound? Yay! Let's just try and get him in this without him crying. He very much always kicks off when he goes in here, so let's see if we can do it. He's so happy right oh, now. I really be good putting him in. Happy boy. Are we going in? Whoa, what's this? Can we take a moment to appreciate? I even said, shall we walk down? Because I was like, he'll stay happy wow. then. And I hate walking. I'm filling you with false confidence of you being like, oh, he's smiling. What's going on? What's going on? Are you right? I'm not accepting this child's two months old. 12 months, I would believe at this stage. Absolutely. Not Are you pointing at daddy? Yeah. Hi. Oh, don't do it. Big bird. Don't do it. <laughs> There's a puke coming. Don't do it. <laughs> what are you doing? You ready? When Careful of his fat. He's fine, fat. Rocket ship. Wow. Okay, this works. Are you ready for an adventure? I've got to pull it tight now, and I know you don't like this. You ready? Stay smiley. Stay smiley. Stay smiley. <laughs> He's bracing himself. He's like. Hur. He's unsure. Oh. Oh, there's your little bit of sick. Get, get your sick out of here. What are you doing, you sick? Oh, there's just more. It's a non stop sick of them. Stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop your puking. Oh, sorry, I scared it. Stop your puking. Are you ready? Oh. Is it tight enough yet? A bit more. There you go. There you go. Oh my gosh, you haven't cried yet! Are you ready? Are you steady? Go! <laughs> like a dog. <laughs> <laughs> Are you ready for adventure? Yeah! Oh, oh, welcome! Wait for me, dear! <laughs> You've left me behind! I made it! And I actually got in the car for all of a millisecond because we only drove around the corner. Got the baby's go bag. And we've got the baby, hello! And we're heading to hopefully what is Lydia's and his house. Please be the right house. Mate, if I'm rocking at... <laughs> Mate, if I'm rocking at the wrong door, this is... A failure. 
Yes, thank gosh it's the right house. Are you okay? Mate, I'm still outside like, if I'm knocking on the wrong house with a child, this is like I'm, I'm like dropping him off. Can you have him please? Look at this, and relax. I don't have to do any babysitting now. And by the way, I don't want to, I don't want to admit this, but we were around at Jenny Namers last night. He was watching the entire Everton game. Hey, where? Him. Oh, Mate, so no, boy. no. I'm not happy. You're going to have to start taking him to Just City Games it. with Carl. Come Sunday, we'll get my Listen, he's not a red, he's not a blue, but I'm telling you right now, I've got a feeling my son likes football. <laughs> it's okay if you do. You've got a lot of friends and family around you'll take you. <laughs> he's like, Daddy, why not you? I just don't get it. People's obsession with football is just weird. Charlie, do you like football? Uh, it's just, I just got brought, born into the wrong universe, I swear. The reason we're here tonight is because we're having chippy. Oh, go on then. Yes, you, get as you can. Get as you can, lad. We're having chippy. No, 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 no I'll, I'll take a can. No, no, don't worry, darling. I'm not that posh. I don't need my kind of Budweiser in a glass, thank you. But do you know what? Shout out to the family because we're having chippy tonight. And what's the one drink you have when you're having a chip shop? Dandelion and Burdock. My granddad's favourite. Well, I'll sit down for two minutes. And it would appear that dinner has been served. I have the fish, yes. Uh, David Nish. My boy, yes. It is always this chaotic. <laughs> dinner was delicious. But talk about hosting a household. I'm all right for now, mate, Chase. Got any costumes? Beatrice, I forgot to say, don't, don't you hide it now with a scarf. I see you repping. I... Where do you get that from? Just a little, uh... Oh, oh. Explosion. <laughs> One thing I will never understand about this family is how they always have dessert, no matter what. You guys could eat your own body weight in food, be sicking out food, and then still have dessert. Charlie, put down the cornetto. Charlie, chuck another plate one, pull it. However, I can't always fit in a can. Why are you here? You can't get rid of the guy. Lydia, all I can do is apologize for the state of my <laughs> socks in public. <laughs> Holy shit. And one time you like, what? Holy totally. Me and my toe are just going to walk into the room real quick. Just because I need to witness what's going on. What are you doing? Wait, so for context, you're having a haircut? Yes. At 10 o'clock on a Friday night? Because you shave the back of your hair? Because you have so much hair? Charlie? Yeah. How confident do you believe in yourself? Ten. Yeah. Minus four. Oh Lord. Just another day in the life of Tom. I do like how you come to witness this. I as like well. that. Thanks. This is just not a regular yeah, Friday. Do you do this in Scotland? Go straight in with the wall. Do you do this in Scotland? No. Well, this became a very free one. We don't do this in England. <laughs> nope. I love how everyone is an audience member <laughs> to this kitchen activity that is happening. Charlie, don't forget, you've got one job, <laughs> and it's to not mess this up. Yeah. Why are you doing that face? Anyway, What's wrong with you? It'll grow back. Oh no, that's perfect. So, uh, how long have you been a barber for? Mm, one minute forty-nine. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. I feel like I should be recording the entire time, just in case it goes wrong. something goes wrong. Something to see where it went. Yeah, you know, if it's gonna happen, you might as well catch it on camera. And it would seem everything is a okay. And now at a whopping half past twelve in the morning, it's always been a pleasure. Never a chore, Charlie. Till next time. I'm going to replace this with Syndicate Original. Is that okay? Yes. Again, one more time. Shout out to B because B. Oh, yeah. Always right. No, no, no. no. <laughs> Hashtag gifted, not an ad, but gifted. Thank you. Uh oh. He's awake. And he's now mine. Wow, he's heavy. You are a very gaining weight boy. It's a family affair. Oh, bloody hell, even I'm going on with the stupid shoes. Even I'm kicking them out like, you put those there. And we are out of here. Hello, home. I am retired, so I'm going to bed. Well, I'm up early on this amazingly frosty morning. It is indeed a Saturday, and somehow I've gained a different vehicle. There was a Jaguar at the back of my house, and now there's a Land Rover Discovery. Tom's car park continues to make money. But as I'm pointing out how crispy it is, look how icy it is everywhere. Oh my goodness me, it looks like glass has just shattered absolutely everywhere up here. Look at it, it's a, it's a bloody slip and slide. And the reason why I'm showing you all this frost is because I wanted to show you it on my car. Just look at the effects that ice has left on the bonnet it looks absolutely bizarre like it's like it it's got a tribal wrap on it or something 
It looks so cool. Like, look at the carbon fiber roof. It looks like it's got leaves on it. That's amazing. And look how it's spread along the spoiler. That looks so damn cool. Right, little boy. Dad's going out for milk. And don't worry, I'll be back. I'm trying to leave the house, but I can't really see where I'm going because the golden road of Nazareth is ahead of me. Wait, that is bright. Oh, I'll survive the journey. And I've got me milk. Thank you. And don't mind if I do. Mm. Pancakes. Don't worry, son. Daddy's coming home. I'm just pulling in and I'm looking at the top of my house and I'm like, there is so much moss up there, which previously I've scraped off my garage roof, but there's so much up there. And I've seen some pretty epic TikToks of like machines just going like a big, like a scrubbing brush, brushing it off and then not damaging the tiles to the point where I think I might get my roof cleaned. It's one of them. It's not a necessary task that I need to get done. Like I need to sort out the drive and I'm still waiting to hear uh, back from the builders as to when they want to come up and uh, have a bit of a conversation. But I don't know. I think from looking at the house from the front, like the trees look really good. Like look, look at them. Andy the gardener has absolutely smashed them. They look incredible. Not so much that one. But look at the ecosystem that's existing on the roof. There's just moss absolutely everywhere. I'm going to do something about it. You've got to love the art of distraction of this guy. I went out to get milk to have Weetabix this morning, but I'm putting that away and making pancakes. I can already tell a lot of people being like, Tom, they're not real pancakes. Trust me, they're my childhood favourite. To me, they're more than pancakes. It is indeed time for tea. Uh, it's a whopping 12.06 <clears throat> right now. No, I didn't just get out of bed, but I didn't get out of bed till like 10.45 today. I kind of just I didn't set an alarm and just woke up there naturally. Um, to which... I got roasted whilst I was sleeping. <clears throat> I'm gonna roll a bit of a Lydia cam because she decided to show me up in style. Tom thinks he starts these vlogs. Good morning. Clever boy. Good morning. Daddy doesn't get up early really, does he? No, he doesn't, does he? This is the best time. Alfie's so chatty and smiley and he loves playing. He's just a bit camera shy. Yeah, so the whole me bragging about getting up at nine o'clock in the morning has uh, just been thrown out the window. Thanks, my babe. Shows me up and then wants a water in a special cup. Ew. I swear to God, I don't understand what it is with women and their obsession with... Cups. She's got some fucking bed. She's got some fucking Look how many straws I've got. You're supposed to be sustainable with one, not 100. Oh, I don't even know. I just don't even know anymore. Now, the real question is, what's going to go on my pancakes? And I think I'm going to mix it up. One with peanut butter. One with honey. That's Nutella. And that way, it's a healthy, balanced breakfast. And voila. Perfection. Mmm. They definitely needed toasting for longer. As proven by the peanut butter one that when I tried to spread it on, it just fell apart. Right, I've actually not started this day properly yet because I've not had a shower. However, it is bad luck if we keep the Christmas decorations up from now on. So they have to come down today. So we are saying goodbye to the Christmas tree. And I'm going to try and perform a test to see just how dangerous it is having a flammable object in your home. So Christmas... Bye-bye. And squeaky clean Tom. Hello. Oh, today's a bit of a sad day, actually. Because you know Lydia's sisters have been back for, like, the holidays, the Christmas period, and to see Alfie and everything. Well, one of Lydia's sisters, B, is going off to Japan in a couple of days. But her other sister, Harriet, who lives in Singapore, she's going home today at 6 o'clock. So it's a very sad day. But we've loved having her home. We've loved having her here for the christening and everything like that. So we're going to go down to Lydia's mum's now. Just have a bit of a Saturday brunch and enjoy what's left of this day. Before we scoot off to the airport and we say goodbye for who knows how long. It, could, it literally could be years before we see her again. How sad's that? I love my family and I want them to all stay together. So come on then. Let's go say goodbye. Let me in. Oh, it's so cosy in this house. How did you get here before me? Now I've noticed this is new. Lydia's mum's just bought this for him. How cute is that? Oh, you got your own little play centre. Oh, sorry about that. St startled you. Oh my gosh. The day gets better. We've got some of Lydia's mum's turkey soup. Oh. The golden good stuff. So good. Mm. Oh yeah. I'm trying to work out what this dessert is. A crisple. Is this new? Because I've never seen it before. Not really? You ever tried one of these before? Is it comparable to anything else? No one's tried it yet. Oh, really? You're the first reviewer. Oh. 
It's Jerry Milk Chocolate with Cocoa Pops inside. <laughs> That's my review. Is it good though? Mm. Is it anything like a, mm. a crunch? I thought that. No. It's... Oh. It's good. Let me bite it. Yeah, look, Cocoa Pops. Oh, yeah. That's nice, huh? Great pick, Vic. Great pick. You're a poet and you didn't even know it. B&M. B&M. A tenner goes a long way in being able to Do you say. know what's still better? Milky Way crispy rolls. Yeah, that's the best. Yeah. Elite. Yeah. This is the next thing that got bought from B&M. <laughs> told you, a tenner goes a long way. Yeah. Oh, Alfie. Oh, it's all going everywhere. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> the rabbit's like, what's happening? Whoa! That's amazing! Wow! What do you think? Wow! <laughs> Just sticking to him! <laughs> Yay! My kind of people. <laughs> Guess what he'll be able to do, hopefully? Eat, he'll talk, and walk. walk. He'll be able to run to you at the airport next Eat, time. Eat, talk, walk. You will. Walk. Okay, baby. Oh, we're gonna go get our bags in the car. Mm. Right, come on. I know, I know. No, it's not right. You're making me sad. I'm sat on a step like a <laughs> loner. <laughs> oh, little guy, you okay? Right. Little dude. Bye bye, Harry. Bye bye. Bye bye. Oh. Come here. I love you, it's been so nice to see you. See you soon. See you soon. Bye bye. We'll come see you. Baby friendly. Bye. Yay. Say bye. I'm sad. Say bye, 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 And now we say another goodbye to a mother. And it's just you and me, bud, heading home. Because Lydia has gone to see her best friend, Jenny. So I'm babysitting. And oh dear. Little dude is crying. It's okay. It's okay. You can actually come in tonight. There is room at the inn. <laughs> you know what? I'm inspired by Lydia's mum. She had a lovely fire roaring just then. So I think uh, it's been a while since we've had this going. Seeing as though it's been ice cold outside. And can we just shout out my fire setup? I've got a place to put my ashes. I've got all my kindling in one basket. I've got logs in another basket. I've got tools for the job. I've got gloves from Lydia's mum. And I've got like a pr big prodding like set of pincers or whatever you call it, tongs, uh, for if I need to move anything around. Man, I've got like everything for the job, it's brilliant. Let's just hope I can build a fire now without it smoking out the house. With this new pipe installed behind it, it shouldn't be a problem, but uh, we'll see how we go. Oh, lovely. We did have a bit of smoke flood into the room out of the fire. You might be able to see it near the lights and stuff to the point where I had to open the door, but it was a cold day outside today and I didn't really prep the fire by like leaving the door open for half an hour or letting a bit of like heat rise up the chimney or anything like that. So uh, I, can't, I can't tell whether or not this new pipe is fully doing its job, but we'll, we'll give it a few more tests in the future because apparently it's supposed to be like a cold storm hitting the UK. We might see some snow. Imagine me off-roading in the bedroom in the snow. That'd be sick. Leave a like right if you'd like that. And we'll be able to properly test this bad boy out. Ooh, look at it. Beautiful. Lydia's got dinner cooking away and look at this. She's got little dude Yay. bouncing away. Yeah. I did do my flirt. Hello. Hello, my friend. Are you okay there? Yeah. It seems it. And I'm about to be as happy as him in a minute because look at this. We've got salmon being made together. Ooh, la, 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 la. But there was a reason I actually came in here. It's because Lydia pointed out the fact <laughs> that we've still got our Christmas tree up and the tree needs to go today or otherwise it's like bad luck or something. And if you don't take it down today, then you've got to like leave it up for like, I don't know. Another year? And with the amount of pine needles that have fallen off already, I don't think that's going to be a good idea. So as Lydia's cooking dinner, I'm going to go downstairs and go and get our... <laughs> I was going to say our ball bag bag. Wait, hang on a minute. What I meant to say there was a bauble bag. Not, not a ball bag bag. And again, this is another Costco special. Honestly, this thing is so much better than putting your baubles back in like the box they came in or a cardboard box with tissue paper. This thing is elite. Let me show you it. 
I already saw some people tweet me saying, oh, Tom, we got the same um, Christmas tree bag as you because it's so good. Look at this. It's got like compartments and you can move them and adjustment and stuff. And there's like different layers in it. Honestly, well good. So I think we'll get that down after dinner. Oh, and look at that fire. I've turned down the air intake a little bit and it is lovely jubbly. <laughs> I, I literally just said to Lydia, I'm gonna have to vlog this. I've just walked in, that smells incredible. That, if I walked into a restaurant and smelled that, I'd be like, I'd be excited to be there. So the fact that I'm in my home, oh, we got a concoction tonight. We've got salmon, with tender stem broccoli, eggs. Since when did eggs get thrown into the mix? An instant <laughs> Like bougie, instant you've ever seen. bougie instant noodles don't mind if i do and trust me listen guy right now i know you've got the best food in the world it's booby it's booby isn't it but when you're older <laughs> when you're older it's gonna be so much better it's gonna be so much better are you excited are you excited yeah i love him come on even you know look at she knows she's proud of herself <laughs> And to wash down your meal, madam, it's a Coca-Cola oh, Original you. Taste um, 2023. Yeah, <laughs> I've got the showdown Ooh, from uh, Limefield. And look at this. That is the bougiest ramen noodles or instant noodles you could ever have. I'm so glad you went to Tesco. Oh. I could not go back to McDonald's. I could not. One, physically working there, and two, just eating it. Oh, it's good. I'm going to enjoy my meal, but I just need to do egg and egg pop. Oh, yeah. Okay, fine. I'll do a taste test review. Bit of salmon, bit of tender stem, bit of noodles. Very good. Well, <clears throat> safe to say, I really enjoyed that. How did you eat all that? Babe, I was so hungry and it was so good. I can't believe you still got like three quarters of your meal left. I'm full. Phenomenal. Kid, you're really missing out, mate. Just saying. Look at this. Don't take my word for it. How good is this, Lydia? Wait, has it got three shelves? Oh, <gasps> no way. It's yes. got three shelves. I didn't when know. My mum did it. She didn't realise that I'd wrapped all the spindly ones in, oh. in tissue so they didn't make it on this year. And look at But look at this, honestly. Whatever that was from Costco, worth it. Just like that. Oh, Literally would have thrown the tree out with that. Oh, no, I've got... I forgot this for us. Who got us that? Baby and Mick. Oh, what about God, God uh, Mother's bought us that? That's cute. And I believe it goes into this box here. But as I was saying, now with all the decorations off, we can take the lights off and chuck out the tree. Oh, this is one way to unravel a tree. <laughs> that is the saddest tree I've ever seen. Yeah. It's literally shedding all of its needles. Is that it? Well done. That is a job well done. Got the lights. Got the pine needles to <laughs> prove we've done it. And all it needs to do is go outside. Okay, Trey. Time to go. You ready? Time for a lot of pine needles to end up on our drive. Are you sure it's going to go through that one door? It has to. Oh, you're at... You could just you open more than one. Plan, you? <laughs> you make an excellent point. I could just do that. Yeah. Whoa, look at that. Yeah, that that makes our life a lot easier, but at the same time, it's still to go past the sofa, see you ready? One second. Okay. Oh, what's the ceiling? Oh my gosh, oh, oh. Wait, did I scuff the ceiling? I don't know, we've just had it decorated. Pine needle or scuff? Oh, thank gosh. <sighs> Alright, you ready? Goodbye, Christmas. Oh, oh no. Oh my gosh. Oh no. I regret my decisions. <laughs> Oh my goodness me, that's so many pine needles. Oh my gosh. What are you doing? Well, I could have gone and got a dishpan and brush, but I realised this is actually one of the best things I've ever decided to buy for this lounge. Look, not only could put your nan's ashes in it. I didn't mean yours, by the way. Just, to, it was a joke I made the other day. <laughs> uh, but you can also put your tree's ashes in it. Look at this. Rest in peace, uh, Christmas tree. Pieces. Yeah, rest yeah, rest in pieces, but look at it. It's a multi-purpose tool thing. I just saw it on shelf like three pounds fifty. Picked that it up. Is cheap. Where I know that's what I thought. Uh being being key. Was it actually three pounds fifty or did you get to the till and not look at the price and it was way more than that? I saw a sign that said three pounds fifty and I picked it up. So that could have been for like It could have been thirty five pounds. <laughs> but hey, look at this. Is it serving a purpose? 
Yep. Yes, it bloody is. <laughs> oh, yeah. And look at that. It was like the tree was never there. And back in goes the lamp. Sorry about that. Dun, 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 dun. I'm pretty sure this riddles into this bomb thing here, like coils away. But with that and this pine needle removed, be gone, you little ba g g g Come here, you bastard. The lounge is sadly, but rightly so, de Christmasified. I think I just invented a word. Give or take a pillow or two. Ooh, is it sleepy time now? Is it bedtime? Is it bedtime? Yeah. <laughs> Should Daddy give you a mohawk? Yeah! Will Mummy love that? <laughs> Do you like it? Yeah! <laughs> I know you flattened his hair, but I gave him a mohawk. <laughs> Bless you! Mum didn't like the mohawk, but now she'll love the, the, the hat and ear combination we're going for instead. Because shock and awe, it's now the next day! And I decided I wanted to go on a stroll! So we're scooting down to Tesco again, which I don't think I've ever been to so many times in one single vlog. But we're going to go down to Tesco, we're going to go get some supplies, because my mum's coming round in an hour. And I said, how do you fancy me making bagel, bacon and egg sandwiches? And she said that'd be lovely. So off we go. On a Tom and Alfie. Tom and Alfie's magical adventure. Where will they go next? Tesco. Got the bacon. Got the bagels. Then we're going to need to see some ID, mate. <laughs> should we stop in and say hello to a certain someone? And get ourselves a coffee? I think we should. Oh, Stephen. I've, I've, do, you, do you want to have him for a few hours? Hey. He's falling asleep. Look at him. Ah, oh, you're so <laughs> Yeah, boring little git. We're supposed to be going on a Tom and Son adventure. What do you want, a latte? I'd love a latte, please. This is the only little dip bucket in. Oh, and this nice. Look at us. We are, we are now men. Dad who brunch. I love it. Dilly dilly. Too many, too many breakfast together. Cheers. Yes. Wait, I'll get the door. Oh my gosh, come in. Oh my gosh, the gang's all here. Look at the size of him. Have you been feeding him? Fucking fillet steaks for breakfast. Wow. Wait, we're gonna have to compare the two of these in prams. Look at the size difference of these two. <laughs> How good's that? Ah, <gasps> oh, just a future bunch of trouble causers just together chilling. So this is five months versus two. Look, at, it's like an ant in comparison. To Hello there. Hello there. Oh, he's beautiful. I love his little ears. Ah! See, this is why you've just got to get up, get outside, and just see what happens next. Because that was so nice to bump into Becky and Wes. And now we're going on making bagels. I ho, I ho, it's up the hill we go. <whistles> oh, bloody hell, mate. Sorry, I was like parkour. Need a bloody sign. They're saying Cliff Edge or something. But we made it back in time for bagels. Good morning, little weed. Good morning. Oh. If people don't know, I call him Little Weed because it's something my dad used to shout to me when I used to get up in the morning. He used to come up the stairs with a glass of orange juice every morning. And he'd be like, morning Little Weeds, good morning. And for some reason I decided to pass it on to him. Hi. That was a nice little stroll, wasn't it? Even though you were asleep the entire time. <laughs> oh, it's mummy, hello. Goodbye. Where's she? I know, I thought it was hot when we came in as well. Where, he's just gone zooming in my house. Hello? Hello? <gasps> Twiggy! Hello there! Hello, 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 hello! Where's Gracio? Oh, I've been in bed, he's been sick. I, I, I got enough bacon and egg oh, bagels sorry. for all of us. Come on, come on, come on! Here you go. Oh, little man. Little bit. Little? How can we even call him little anymore? He's Look at the. He's still. Do you think he looks like me as a baby now? No. <laughs> Everyone still thinks. Is what? That? Is that from today? And yesterday. That, that milk means that we can go out and do things and either I can feed him or if we want to go out and do something like a, a date day, mum or grandmas can have that milk and feel him. Great success. Karen, how very rude of me. Would you like a cuppa? I'm all right for a minute. All right, go for that, thank God for that. Right, oh, wow, I'm making bagel. Bacon, bagel. eggs, bagels. Why are you having spam? Spam up. If you, what's that song go like? Spam up. It's like it's just something I've really. Spam up. Spam fritters. That was a, that was definitely a television song. Just the same. It's spam. Meat in a can. Fully cooked and ready to eat, hot or cold. Yeah. Well, what went from me surprising the family making bagels, eggs and bacon, has now turned into Lydia making bagels, spam and eggs. And bacon. And bacon. In Lydia, we thank mum. 
There is Thank your you. bagel. And look at that. Look how ready to pop it is. Oh, that's really cool. Look how good it is to like pop. That. Go on, push it down. Go on. Oh, that looks like it's going to pop yeah, everywhere. Wait, how have you done that? I'm so confused. How have you managed that? That looks like a nipple. Oh, that's Lydia. Juicy. That's juicy. Um, let's not talk about who cut the bagels. You had one job. I had one job. <laughs> yeah, look at one side compared to the other. I reckon mine will pop. You ready? Oh, it did. Oh. When you're older, you can have one. Until then, enjoy that thumb. So go on then, what did you think of the, your, your breakfast this morning? It was really... Out of 10? Uh, definitely a solid 8.99. The answer was 10 if you want to come again. Oh, she just doesn't Yeah, well, you lost your point, you 1.01 because... Are you bad cutting of the bagel, Tom? You let the side down. No, it was absolutely... Do you know what? No, I'll take that. That's fair. And we're going to have a collective vote around the house. Are we having a fire or not? No. Yep. I'm looking on. <laughs> absolutely lovely jubbly. Right. I'm leaving you with the fire. Enjoy. Me and Mother Flipping heck, love. That stinks. You stinky winky. Mum, I need you to be my camera lady because I need to compare... Hoodie sizes. Because as you'd know, we're working on a 10-year anniversary of Syndicate Original. And I want to do a hoodie and redo our first ever print we did, which was this line, which goes along the shoulder. But back in the day, we couldn't really print down the arm, whereas now we can, so it looks really good. Hence what I'm wearing. But this one is the bigger one, where the line kind of goes like this way across past the middle of the chest. And this one stops at the middle of the chest. So what I need you to do is just hold that camera there, right? And I need your vote as well as everyone in the comments. Do we prefer... Bigger lion, yeah, which goes across. This is the bigger one. This was the second variation size of it. Or do we prefer bigger or smaller? Smaller. A lot of people have been giving us feedback that they think it like looks a bit plain and there's nothing else on it. There no. is going to be different customised things like on the sleeve and stuff, so don't worry Small. about that. But we just want feedback on sizing. So if you could let us know, that'd be great. Right, I'm really hoping that with your guys' feedback, we can make this the best hoodie possible. Because like I said, 10 year anniversary, first ever print we ever did. I want... I want to see this repped everywhere. World absolute wide. As me and my mother are about to go and rep it around G-Cross. Because we're taking the doggy on a stroll. Who's a good girl? Who's a good girl? Mum looks like she's really ready for a hike. And then I'm just repping Syndicate Original. Go do what you got to do. Mum, it's a Sunday and you could say, holy shit. shit. Look how much there is. <laughs> Careful, dog. <you're laughs> go down one of those holes, you'll be disappearing. Mum, I don't know if this was the best of decisions. You're wearing wellies. What have we done? Why have we decided to come this way? Oh, just walk on the bricks. Walk on the bricks or where there's already footsteps. Oh, this is... Oh, how am I going to get past that? <laughs> I've just had a very close call. Look how far the mud went up to the edge of my boot. Bloody hell. Oh, everything is awesome. When you're walking through it. Oh, my gosh. I really shouldn't even be stopping filming this. I just need to concentrate and get through it. When in doubt, Leroy out. <laughs> Oh no, why did we do that? Why? You. Why would we do that? <laughs> I told you! Run Twiggy, be free! <laughs> she takes one one step and goes in a hole. Whoop. Totally not filming you to go first <laughs> to see what could I'm possibly go stone. wrong. Don't film me, I'm having a what? stone. You having a what? I don't need a stone. Oh You're getting stoned? I'm having nothing to do with you, you drug addict. Just for clarification, my mum isn't getting stoned, she's taking a stone. Oh, and Twiggy's got a stick. Make, why don't you find one that's like a reasonable size? It's it's nearly twice your length. It's always the small ones. I've got to say, I'm pretty sure throwing away a cigarette butt is a little bit better than throwing away an entire vape. Look at them. These single-use vapes. I know I sound like a 90 year old but you literally drive along and it looks like there's IEDs on the road. You just see blinking LED lights that have just been thrown out of a car window beeping away. I'll tell you what. If you get fined for littering, you should get massively fined for disposing of a vape on the road. Fucking hell. That ain't degrading anytime soon, is it? I've now gained the doggy on a leash and my mum's gained her pet rock from earlier. And where have you got that piece of wood from? Bloody hell, woman. <laughs> Put it down. Hey, gotta love it. Hey, and shout out to a lovely girl that we just met on the canal then. Just walking along and she was like, oh, you're right, Tom. And I was like, oh, you're right. She was like, yeah, love the vlogs. I was like, no way. I was not expecting to bump into someone on the canal. Now, don't worry, Twiggy. I know it's been a long walk. It's been wet and muddy, but we're almost home. I'm saying nothing about you picking up your wood and your stone when there's even more just yeah. empty vapes ditched you, everywhere. It's disgusting. A there's a fucking bin right there. On our stroll, I just thought I'd showcase this. Look at these abandoned buildings, right? Just falling to pieces in a massive eyesore on this road. 
you think like, oh, surely someone would buy this barn with the land and stuff and do something with it. The class as heritage buildings or whatever, or a listed building. Yeah. Should be bloody listed as a health hazard, not a, oh, memorable building for heritage reasons. It's a yit all. Sell it me so I can build a farm. Come on, look at the state of that roof. It's an absolute travesty. Well done, Twig. Oh, actually, sorry, we don't call you that anymore. Well done, Log. You did a good job. She's called what? Trunky. Trunky. Hey, listen, even if your own mother says it, it must be true. Well, looks like we've taken the uh, lazy person's route home. <laughs> we, we can't be asked walking all the way back. We're getting a lift. Right, hey, what are you doing? Are you driving around collecting scrap metal or something? Yeah. Fingerless no, gloves right. on. Hey, hey, at least you're repping Syndicate original. Go on there, boy! I'm hey, so it. smart. Go on there, get... Look at, you know what you look like? You both look like the Home Alone thieves. Uh. <laughs> but I will say, um, do whatever you need to do. Collect your scrap metal, but thanks and left home. Thank you, now. Thank you! 19 hours later. The Wanderer returns. My boy, I'm home. Hello, mummy. Hello. Hello, my son. Hello. <gasps> Look at you, you've got the cosy fire still. Oh, it's so nice to see you again. Hello. <gasps> Look at your strong neck, little dude. You got a strong neck? Yeah. Look at you turning. Woo, tummy time. <laughs> <gasps> so proud. So proud of you. Yeah. <laughs> Fire roaring, and would you just look at that view? It's just phenomenal, isn't it? Oh my goodness me! But not as good as that view. Look at that one. That's a good one. Flipping it. What time is it? Flipping nearly five o'clock at night, and someone's knocking at my door. Who it? What are you doing? I can't get rid of you. We're all the same. What, I, what do I owe the other? Chicken pasta. You don't like pasta. Pasta. I'm gonna convert you though. <sighs> Listen, if he's cooking it, the chances are it's probably going to be. You didn't like pie, did you? Phenomenal. It wasn't pie, it was meat cake. You didn't like pie. And I'm about to see if I like pasta. Jordan, it's, look at me. It's okay. You don't have to get upset. I've got a feeling this isn't the last time I'm going to see you. Because <laughs> every time I open a bastard door, you're there. You know, you're not even a bogus gas man and you don't have fake ID. What's wrong with you? Are you going to say someone's cutting onions in here? <laughs> no, blur it. <laughs> See, I'm, gonna make, I'm making sure he blurred that just to make sure you look like a wimp. God, look at you. You're six foot eight and you can't even cut an onion without crying. Yeah, big. <laughs> it's a lovely Sunday night. We've got Jordan upstairs making food. I've got a glass of wet, wet, red wine, <laughs> red wine and... I was playing a little bit of RuneScape, just relaxing. And I have been summoned to save the fire. Because let's be fair. That's a dire fire. Thank you for the basket, Dad. And we stack them up. Reload. And launch a log on that fire. And only time will tell if I will save the day. Oh, look at that. I am mad. Oh. Go on, what are you actually making? Uh, tomato mascarpone pasta. Never heard of that before in my life. Pan fried chicken. We've got chicken. And We've got salad. mushrooms. And what? Salad. Did you see salad? Yeah. Get it in my salad. house. Who put salad with a pasta? Disgusting. Anywho, I'm now back in front of my computer because I'm waiting to make the bonus video go live of the behind the scenes-ish video that I filmed at the Simon Hide and Seek competition. But I just wanted to point this out. This is insane. The look, look at the length of the screens that I have in here, right? They're mad. But YouTube must have rolled out an update to make shorts because this, this right here is a YouTube short. And look how it fills the entire size of the screen. This is, this is insane. Look how big this is. It's unbelievable. And I've decided, as of 2024, your boy is going to start making short form content. Oh, that's the one. I, I know I've needed to for a long time, but I don't think my vlogs, like, like transition into short form. Because I make... What the hell is that? Like, there's like a wisp flying past me. I make, like, hour-long videos. Well, sometimes I make 10-minute videos and people cry. Um, but I make really long content, so I don't think short form's for me. But rather than trying to make my long form into short form, I'm going to start making one-off shorts. And hopefully, you guys might enjoy it. So, leave a like, great, and if you're looking forward to that. Oh, Jordaniel. Jordaniel. Mm, look at this. Coming together. Thanking you. Thanking you. Lydia. Is our child massive or is your mum small? <laughs> look, when you're holding me, it looks about eight foot tall. What's wrong with you? <laughs> it doesn't help that I've just zoomed in on his chins. He goes, I bet he goes past me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We've got to wait him soon because I reckon he's a big boy. 
Omino. Jordan's dinner is ready. Have you put breadcrumbs on everything again? No, just one thing. <laughs> <gasps> Mate, what? That looks so good. Jordan, in you we pre Look at the presentation of it. <gasps> That's enough pasta to feed a village, by the way. I know, it's quite a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I know, you can't have any yet. Mommy can eat it, and then you will eat it. Oh, that looks so good, mate. Flipping hecker. I'm going to try the pasta first to see if pasta is any good, because I don't Thank like you, pasta. Don't want, like, pasta. I like pasta. Well, I'm going to call it a different name now. <laughs> Can we call it a chicken dish? <laughs> oh my god. Uh, I've never had pasta with chicken and salad as a combination. It's so refreshing. Mm -hmm. That's very nice. So do you really have to go down to London for work? Or would you like to become a full-time private chef? That would be good. What does it pay? Do it. Not enough. Oh! <laughs> he's like, yeah, no thanks. Look at how happy he is now. And think of how sad he's going to be when you're not here. Hello. Just trying to guilt trip you. Oh, oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> don't go, Jordan, don't go. <laughs> we have the gift that keeps on giving. We have a Scottish man and a Scottish baby book. Are you ready to recite it, Jordan? Sure. Be Pass it along. Jordy was a tall giraffe. <laughs> his neck was chimp and lang. <laughs> but his legs were off a bully. What does that mean? Bull legged legs. Oh. <laughs> and his, his knees were high <laughs> gone rang. <laughs> where the beasts all get together, that's quite Scottish, to jig and light and fling. <laughs> I love how the Scottish guy is actually struggling with the Scottish book. We'd be bollocks. Wait, wait, wait. And in my Scottish bias. Well. And this year when they rode around, it made the Jody, per Jody greet. For when it came to dancing, he, he fankled up his feet. I'm good at this one. You ready? The warthogs started waltzing and the rhinos were rocking. The lions danced a tango. That was... Beth, Fantouche, and Shocking. Why? Why are you, <laughs> Why are you laughing? I don't know what that word is. <laughs> Belted book. Big thank you to Tony, Reese, and Libby for that book. Well, the family cleared out. We've just finished watching Fill Me Once. Everyone was saying it's like one of the best shows they've ever seen. Unfortunately, not for me. I will not really recommend that. No offence or anything like that. Did you enjoy it? Yeah, it was alright. It was alright, but... We don't care about the show anymore because look at this little dude koala ring asleep on the deer. <laughs> you are the bestest boy in the whole wide world. Oh, I'm so proud of you. Well done. Well done. What a day. What a weekend. I feel like it's just the, the never ending vlog. But I'll tell you what. It's nice. We're just watching that show and uh, listen, everyone's been talking about it. I think it was like Alfie and Zoe, Zoe were like, oh, it's... Uh, Zoe put it on like, she binge watching one go, it's so good and everything like that. I just don't do drama series. I'm just like, they're not for me. I'd rather watch war action, something or other. And yes, I like Breaking Bad, but that's about making crystal meth. Um, not so much um, a, a murder mystery. It's just not for me. Lydia, you could watch millions of them, couldn't you? <laughs> to be fair, you prefer like vampires and werewolves, don't you? Why is this an actual Yeah, she's so she's got like the strangest obsession with like watching uh vampire things. Every time I come in, it's vampire diary, diary, vampires of vampires of hunting vampire werewolf factions. It's the weirdest thing, but guys, it is ten to twelve at night right now. I successfully managed to upload the behind the scenes of the Sidemen hide and seek video. And I'm just gonna quickly address something before people start coming going, Tom, fake news. Uh, in the video title, it says $100,000. And I know you'd think, Tom, that's clickbait because you went down there and said it was a competition for 10000 But I didn't want to gazump the Sidemen because they uploaded it and titled it as a $100,000 challenge. And it definitely was indeed 
10,000. Now you might be like, Tom, why didn't you want to win $10,000? And the answer is, I would have absolutely loved to do, but I was a potato and I did indeed get caught out. This is a spoiler alert, but getting caught out actually ended up being really funny because I got to enjoy the entire experience of being down there with so many YouTubers, meeting like content creators that I've never met before. And it was just brilliant. Like if you haven't seen my behind the scenes, go and check it out. Cause I honestly had an absolute blast with it. But if it was, for $100,000, I would not have been trying to hunt the Sidemen. I would have been hiding in the bottom of a porta potty. I'd have been in it for the win, all right? And I'm saying this right now, if the Sidemen ever do a hide and seek again, which I so hope they do, and I would love to be a part of it, because I, I honestly, out of all the clubs that I've done, that was one of the funnest ones by far I've ever been involved with. If they ever do it again, and they say there's a prize pool, I'm gonna make sure I like unionize the, the hiders to make sure it's for 100,000. We know they've got the money for it, and I'm bagging that cash. So yeah, it, uh, the video is live if you wanna go and check it, but it is indeed now close to midnight, guys. So I have to end this vlog. I hope you've been enjoying them. I think I've done a pretty good job getting videos uploaded every weekday at 7 p.m. for your faces. And I'm hoping to keep continuing doing that. So if you guys do enjoy the videos, leave a like, rating. make sure you're subscribed and ding on the notification bell because we're trying to hit 2.6 million subscribers. And fingers crossed when you guys are watching this video, it's a long one obviously on the weekend, but on this Monday, 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 you guys will have an absolutely clucking time. I want you to get motivated, get shit done and get out there and do stuff. Stuff, all right, those things you've been putting off for the longest time. No, don't you clucking wait around. Get out there, do it, and be the motivational chicken I need you to be. Anyway, thanks for watching, vlog guys. I'm loving you, I'm leaving you. Until next time, sadios. <laughs>